Hey friends, welcome back to College Sports Corner. I'm Barry. This is our week 12 review. Um, sad thing, we only got one more weekend, a full weekend of college football. Everybody's finishing up over these next few days. Then we'll have the championship weekend. But even when you get to championship weekend, it's kind of sad because you're not going to have all those games on all those channels like you do, you know, for the last time this weekend. Um, anyway, hey, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your coworkers about the show. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Let's get some headlines, some really big ones here in the last couple of days. Um, sure, everybody's heard of Dan Mullen out at Florida. He had a 34 and 15 record. His first two years, he went 10 and 3, 11 and 2, and then I don't know what happened. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about this. He's a good coach. There must be something else going on behind the scenes because even Scott Frost is getting another year. Um, maybe he's just not connecting with the players. Maybe he's disconnected from the staff or the uh, staff and administration now too. I don't know. Anyway, another uh, job opening at Florida, another big one. So it's going to be interesting to see who they try to get against all the other schools, LSU, USC, the Washington schools, and um, whoever else there is. Who else is going to be here probably in the next few days also. So a lot of these teams, a lot of these schools need to crap or get off the pot before another school grabs a good coach, and they end up with a uh, some bum that gets them to 500 every year. And they're going to start to search all over again. But anyway, uh, Chip Lindsey, he's out at Troy. He went 15 and 19 in three seasons. Uh, Troy used to be pretty good. I remember they, um, they used to uh, be, a, I guess, a, what you call a giant slayer. Sometimes they would uh, beat some big teams. But anyway, they're going to be looking for a new coach too. Uh, hey, some good news. Dick Vitale has been given the okay by his doctors to go back to calling college basketball games. He's been fighting, uh, I forget what, some sort of cancer. I forget which one it was exactly. But uh, his doctor said, hey, get back there and start announcing. So good for him. Good for you, Dickie V. Uh, Jim Calhoun. You guys remember Jim Calhoun, the old UConn coach? He is uh, the coach at Saint Division Three St. Joseph's School now. But he is finally going to retire. Um, he took UConn to three national titles back in their heyday. But um, happy retirement to you, Coach. You deserved it. All the things you've done over the years for college basketball, man, it's well deserved. Um, UMass is hiring one of their former head coaches to be the head football coach again. Uh, Dan Brown, he was head coach back in 2000, 2004 through 2008 there at UMass. He was 43-19. and 19. He took him to uh, two FCS playoff appearances, even took him to the uh, national championship game in 06 against uh, Appalachian State, where they lost. Uh, and in 07, he took him back. They went to, they got to the quarter, quarterfinals. But anyway, he's going to be back as head coach at UMass, which uh, they need to change because they've only won one or two games this year. They're just not very good. So we'll see what he can do there starting next year. Uh, Nebraska quarterback A.G. Martinez will not play this week, Friday, against Iowa. He's got a shoulder in injury, so he's out. So that's not something Nebraska needs, but the season's almost over, and they can get started again on trying to trying to eliminate all those mistakes that they've been having this year. Uh, LSU quarterback Eli Ricks entering the transfer portal. He's done there in Baton Rouge, going somewhere else. Um FCF, FCS playoffs released their bracket. Uh, the top eight seeds are number one, Sam Houston, number two, North Dakota State, three, James Madison, four, Sacramento State, five, Villanova, six, Montana, seven, East Tennessee State University, and eight, Montana State. And I have the bracket here. Um, Stephen F., so the, all the eight seeds get buys. So, the winner of Stephen F. Austin and Incarnate Word will play Sam Houston. Uh, the winner of UT Martin and Missouri State will play Montana State. Uh, the winner of Sacred Heart and Holy Cross play Villanova. The winner of UC Davis and South Dakota State play Sacramento State. Uh, then on the other side of the bracket, the winner of Florida A&M and Southeastern Louisiana play James Madison. Uh, the winner of Northern Iowa and Eastern Washington will play Montana. The winner of Davidson and Kennesaw State will play Eastern Tennessee State. And Southern Illinois and South Dakota winner will play North Dakota State. 
the uh, dreaded North Dakota State Bison that have won so many national championships. Okay, so get this. There are 128 FCS teams. They have a 24-team playoff. There is 130 FBS teams, and they have a four-team playoff. Um, this is stupid. I mean, it really is. Um, these university presidents and CFP and some of these networks, I mean, they need to get off their ass and get it together. There's no reason why we shouldn't have more teams. Should we have 24? I don't know. But, man, you got to at least get it to 12, maybe even 16. If the FCS can do it, then you can do it. And if you can't do it, but the FCS is doing it, you should feel like freaking losers. I mean, it's that simple. Like uh, Mike, uh, Mike Leach said, go to the nearest softball field, go look at an attorney, and go talk to them and see how to do it. I mean, it should, these people should be freaking embarrassed. Okay, anyway, let's get to some games. Last Thursday, uh, Louisville 62, ooh, Duke 22. This game was 35-9 to nine at the half. Uh, Malik Cunningham for Louisville was 18 for 25, 303 yards, five touchdowns. He also rushed for a touchdown. Um, he rushed, actually, he rushed for 224 yards and two touchdowns. He had a damn good game. Five different receivers for Louisville caught TD passes. Um, quarterback Gunnar Holmberg for Duke threw for 176 yards. Riley Leonard and Jalon Calhoun each had rushing touchdowns for Duke. Um, See, Louisville ended up with 687 total yards, Duke 458 total yards. Friday, Southern Miss 35, Louisiana Tech 19. Um, running back, not the quarterback, but running back, Frank Gore Jr. threw for 75 yards and two touchdown passes. I guess they had some trick plays up their sleeve. He also rushed for a touchdown, too. Uh, Jason Brownlee had five catches, 67 yards, two touchdowns. Louisiana Tech's Aaron Allen threw for 100 yards, but no touchdowns. Uh, only touchdown was a 43-yard fumble recovery by Trey Baldwin. Uh, kicker, get this, kicker Jacob Barnes had 13 points for La Tech. Uh, Air Force 41, Nevada 39. Remember I said watch this game. It could be a pretty good one. It's going to be a late game Friday, and it was late because it went into three overtimes. Uh, Air Force is all rushing. They only had... 23 passing yards in this game. DeAndre Hughes had 23 rushes for 221 yards, two touchdowns. And Brad Roberts had 28 rushes for 117 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Nevada's Carson Strong was 27 for 44, 351 yards and four touchdowns. One interception, but the Air Force defense sacked him seven times. And um, I was watching this game, and that Air Force defense, they were just all over the place. Surprised he let him score 39 points with the they were playing. Uh, Romeo Dobbs and Cole Turner have two touchdown catches for Nevada. Um, Toa, Toa Tuva, 77 rushes and one touchdown. Uh, Air Force ended up with almost 500 total yards and Nevada 369 total yards. Washington State 44, Arizona 18. Uh, Jaden Delora for Washington State was 13 for 22, 259 yards, four touchdowns. Uh, Max Borgie had 16 rushes for 139 yards and two touchdowns. Calvin Jackson Jr. had four catches, 133 yards, two touchdowns. Terrell Harris had six catches for 95 yards and two touchdowns. Arizona's Will Plummer was 24 for 42, 222 yards, two touchdowns, one interception, sacked three times. Michael Wiley and Booby Curry, I like that name, Booby, Booby Curry, had a touchdown catch each. Uh, Cougars end up with 482 total yards and Wildcats 369 total yards. And uh, Houston 31, Memphis 13. Uh, Clayton Toon for Houston was 20 for 34, 264 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. He also rushed for 59 yards and a touchdown. Um, Tazwan, Tayshawn Henry, 73 rushes and one touchdown for Houston. And Nathaniel Dell had seven catches, 100 yards, and one touchdown for the Cougars. Memphis Seth Hennigan was 21 for 45, 208 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Um, and uh, Asia Martin, he had the TD catch for Memphis. Houston ended up with 461 total yards and Memphis 322 total yards. Uh, San Diego State 28, UNLV 20. 
Um, I can't believe San Diego State actually only won by eight. I can't believe they let UNLV score 20 points on them. That's, that's some crazy stuff there. So the question is, did uh, San Diego State not just not play just that well? Or uh, did UNLV just play that much better? Anyway, they almost lost that good record they have. Lucas Johnson for the Aztecs, 18 for 24, 192 yards, three touchdowns, one interception, sacked three times. Jesse Matthews had nine catches for 75 yards and three touchdowns, not too bad. Uh, Justin Rogers for UNLV was 15 for 21, 305 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Uh, Zyle Griffin and Gianni Favlo each had a touchdown catch for UNLV. Um, get this, San Diego State only had 290 total yards, and UNLV had almost 400 total yards. You see you see all that, and you see the score, and you just wonder how UNLV let that slip away from them. But <laughs> Okay, Saturday, Clemson 48, Wake Forest 27. Uh, this was a seven-point game at halftime. Quarterback DJ for Clemson had 208 passing yards, one touchdown, one interception. Kobe Pace had 191 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Will Shipley had 112 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Bo Collins, 137 receiving yards, one touchdown. And kicker B.T. Porter had 12 points for the Tigers. Uh, Wake Forest, Sam Hartman, 312 passing yards, one touchdown, one interception, sacked eight times. Eight times the Tigers got him. Uh, Quentin Cooley and Christian Turner had rushing TDs. And Blake Whitehead had a TD catch for Wake Forest. Clemson ended up with 543 total yards and Wake Forest 406. Uh, North Carolina 34, Wofford 14. Um, Sam Howell was out. He had an upper body injury. He didn't play in this game. So Jacob, uh, what's his name, Criswell took over for him. He threw for 125 yards and no touchdowns, but he rushed for a touchdown. Uh, British Brooks had seven rushes, 89 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Kamari Morales had a TD catch, and kicker Griffin Atkins had 10 points. Ryan Ingram and Kyle Penix had the rushing touchdowns for Wofford. North Carolina ended up with 519 total yards. Wofford, 302 total yards. Uh, Florida State, 26. Boston College, 23. Uh, Jordan Travis for Florida State, 20 for 34. 251 yards, uh, what was I say, three touchdowns and sacked three times. Ontario Wilson, Malik McLean, Lawrence Tofield each had touchdown catches for Florida State. Boston College, Phil Jerkovic, Jerkovic, 10 for 24, 148 yards, one touchdown, sacked four times. Uh, he also rushed for a TD. Pat Garwo, Garwo 71 rushes, uh, one touchdown. And Zay Flowers had 92 receiving yards and a touchdown for the Eagles. Florida State, 365 total yards. Boston College, 318 total yards in that game. Uh, West Virginia, 31. Texas, 23. Uh, this is six straight losses for Texas now. Let's still go back to that night that uh, they lost to Arkansas, but then came out and just started beating people left and right. And then uh, I don't know what happened. Um... Quarterback Jared Doge for Western Virginia, West Virginia, 27 for 43, 290 yards, three touchdowns, sacked three times. Uh, Levy Brown, 23 carries, 158 yards and a touchdown. And Winston Wright had six catches for 67 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Hudson Carr for Texas was 10 for 16, 123 yards and a touchdown. Kellen Robinson had nine carries on 111 yards and a touchdown. And Xavier Worthy, seven catches, 85 yards, and he had a TD catch for Texas. Uh, Mountaineers ended up with 459 total yards. Longhorns, 355. Oklahoma, 28. Iowa State, 21. This was a pretty good game. Uh, Caleb Williams for OU, 8 for 18, 87 yards, one touchdown, one interception, sacked five times. He also rushed for 67 yards, though, and a touchdown. Eric Gray had a rushing touchdown for Oklahoma. Jalen Rimmon had a 42-yard TD off a of fumble recovery. Uh, Brock Purdy for Iowa State was 30 for 41, 281 yards, one touchdown, one interception, sacked seven times by the Sooner defense. Brees Hall had 19 carries for 58 yards and a touchdown. 
And Charlie Kohler had 12 catches, 152 yards, and a touchdown catch. Oklahoma ended up with only 305 total yards. And, but Iowa State, they ended up with 361 total yards. Uh, Purdue 32, 32, Northwestern 14. Once again, this game was played at Wrigley Field for who knows why the hell. I mean, like the end of the I don't know if you saw the game, but at the at the end of the end zone, it's like two feet into the wall. It's like what the hell, whatever. Uh, Adrian O'Connell for Purdue was twenty nine for thirty nine, four hundred twenty three yards, three touchdowns. Milton Wright had eight carries, two hundred thirteen yards, and three touchdown runs. Uh, kicker Mitchell Mitchell Feinram. He was responsible for 14 points for Purdue. Uh, Andrew Marty, quarterback for Northwestern, was 10 for 14, 93 yards, one touchdown, set four times by Purdue. Evan Hull, 25 rushes, 96 yards, one touchdown. And Marshall Long had a TD catch for the Wildcats. Uh, Purdue, 473 total yards. Northwestern, 303 total yards. Okay, this one really kind of shocked the hell out of me. Uh, Ohio State, 56. Michigan 7. This game was 49 to nothing at the half. Um, I really thought Michigan State would make a better showing. I mean, they've got a lot of good players on the team, but Ohio State just kind of came out and just slapped them around the whole game, had their way with them. Uh, kind of Really kind of embarrassing for Michigan State, but it's one of the good things about college football. You just never know, huh? Uh, C.J. Stroud for the Buckeyes, 32 for 35, 432 yards, six touchdowns on the day. Sacked seven times. Or, I'm sorry, sacked two times. Uh, Master, Master Teague the third, 21 rushes, 95 yards, one touchdown. Chris Olive, seven catches, 140 yards, two touchdowns. Garrett Wilson, seven catches, 126 yards, and two touchdowns. And Jackson Smith, Naj, Najibu, Najibu? I don't know. 10 catches, 105 yards, and one touchdown. Uh, finally, in the fourth quarter, Spartan quarterback Peyton Thorne threw a 12-yard touchdown pass to Keon Coleman. Ohio State ended up with 655 total yards. And Michigan State, 224 total yards. Mm -mm -mm. Bad day for them. Uh, Penn State, 28. Rutgers, 0. Speaking of bad days, the next few games here are bad days for some teams. Uh, Christian Valuve, Valave for Penn State, 15 for 25, 24. 235 yards, three touchdowns, and zero interceptions. Good day for him. Kayvon Lee rushed for 41 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Parker Washington, six catches, 72 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Rutgers quarterback Noah Verdahl only passed for 91 yards in this game. Uh, Johnny Lagon, 18 rushes. Bo Melton, 49 receiving yards. That was their leaders in those two categories. Penn State had 407 total yards, and Rutgers only 160. Uh, Kent State 38, Akron 0. Dustin Crum passed it for 74 yards, no TDs, but he rushed for 114 yards and two touchdowns for Kent State. Marquez Cooper, 25 carries, 135 yards, one touchdown. Brian Broadfield who ran for 66 yards and a touchdown. And kicker Andrew Glass had 12 points. Akron's quarterback, Zach Gibson, was 14 for 21, 111 yards, no touchdown. Sacked six times by the Kent State defense. Uh, Akron only had 77 rushing yards. Hmm. Kent State, 495 total yards, and Akron, 188. Um, another bad day for a team. Georgia, 56, Charleston Southern, 7. Uh, Stetson Bennett for Georgia was 8 for 14, 105 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Carson Beck and JT Daniels each threw TD passes for Georgia. Samir White, 83 rushing yards, touchdown. Brent Seether, 39 receiving yards and a touchdown. Uh, Charleston Southern, the touchdown came from a 65-yard fumble recovery by Garris Schwarting. And that was it. That was all the only points Charleston Southern scored. Georgia, 483 total yards. Charleston Southern, 126. Mm, that's worth some Rutgers. Uh, Kentucky 56, New Mexico State 16. Will Levis was 21 for 31, 419 yards, four touchdowns, one interception for Kentucky. Chris Rodriguez had 16 carries, 119 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, Josh Ally had seven catches, 164 yards, two touchdowns. Justin Rigg had two touchdown catches also. 
Uh, New Mexico State, Trevor Brohard, 25-yard TD recovery. TD from a fumble recovery. And Keith and Ethan, kicker Ethan Albertson, 10 points. Uh, Kentucky, 707 total yards. New Mexico State, 282. Uh, this was kind of a... Uh, a uh, thing on Saturday, there's a lot of fumble recoveries taken back for touchdowns, and some of them are pretty long runs, too. Uh, Mississippi State, 55. Tennessee State, 10. Will Rogers was 28 for 34. 391 yards, five touchdowns, no interceptions. Yeah, a hell of a night, day for Mississippi State. Uh, Dylan Johnson, 56 rushing yards and a touchdown. Austin Williams, four catches, 75 yards, three touchdowns. Uh, kicker Nolan McCard, 13 points for Mississippi State. Uh, Tennessee State didn't score until the fourth. Michael Mitchell rushed for a TD, and James Long kicked a 43-yard field goal. Uh, 600 total yards for Mississippi State and only 200 for Tennessee State. Uh, Texas A&M, 52. Prairie View, 3. Uh, Zach Calzada for A&M, 10 for 14, 150 yards, two touchdowns. Isaiah Spiller and Amari Daniels both ran for 70 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Devon Achon, two rushing touchdowns. And Moose Muhammad, 77 receiving yards and two touchdowns for the Aggies. Uh, for Prairie View, Luis Reyes kicked a 25-yard field goal in the third so they wouldn't be shut out. A&M ended up with 447 total yards and Prairie View, 154 in the total yard category. Hmm. Uh, Army 33, UMass 17. This was a nine-point game at halftime. Uh, Christian Anderson for Army threw for 42 yards, ran for 40 yards, and no touchdowns. Tyrell Robinson, nine carries, 137 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, Jacoby Buchanan, 11 carries, 84 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, Garrett Drozo for UMass, 7-13, 78 yards, one touchdown. Josiah Johnson, three rushes, 42 yards and a touchdown. And Jacob Orlando had a touchdown catch for UMass. Army ended up with 419 total yards, UMass 277. Uh, Tulane 45, South Florida 14. Michael Pratt for Tulane was 19 for 24, 311 yards, three touchdowns, one interception, not too bad. Uh, Ty G. Spears, 13 carries, 111 yards, two touchdowns, not too bad. Um, Jay Tuan Tolls, three catches, 62 yards, one touchdown. Quarterback Timmy McLean for South Florida, 15 for 27, 132 yards, zero touchdowns, sacked five times by Tulane's defense. Uh, Kelly Joyner, 15 rushes, 95 yards, and a touchdown. And Cody Farden rushed for a touchdown for South Florida. Tulane, 501 total yards, South Florida, 297. Uh, Western Kentucky, 52. Florida Atlantic, 17. Uh, here we go. Billy Zape, 39 for 49, 470 yards, six touchdowns. He did get picked off twice. Uh, Mitchell Tinsley, nine catches, 164 yards, two touchdowns. Joey Beljan, three catches, 42 yards, and two touchdowns for Western Kentucky. Uh, for F Florida Atlantic, Nikasi Perry, 19 for 28, 213 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. John Mitchell, three catches, 36 yards, and a touchdown. And Tejon Young had a 62-yard pick six for the Owls. Uh, Western Kentucky, 608 total yards. Florida Atlantic, 301 total yards. Uh, Coastal Carolina, 35. Texas State, 21. Uh, this game was tied at 14 at the half. Grayson McCall for Coastal Carolina, 22 for 28, 319 yards, five touchdowns. Um, Javon Hiley, 10 catches, 101 yards and a touchdown. Cameron Brown, four catches, 90 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Tyler Vitt for Texas State, 13 for 26, 106 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Uh, Calvin Hill, 12 carries, 100 yards, one touchdown. And Marcel Barbie, two catches, 38 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Coastal Carolina ended up at 498 total yards. And Texas State, 301. Um, man, go back to Grayson McCall. We just got a lot of good quarterbacks there, piling up a lot of numbers across the country this year. Between that and some of the running backs we have, I don't know what those Heisman voters are going to do. 
Um, Iowa 33, Illinois 23. Uh, this was a four-point game at the halftime. Arlen Bruce for Iowa had a rushing touchdown. They had a really bad passing game, by the way. Uh, Charlie Jones, 100-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. And Caleb Shadok, kicker. Caleb Shadok. He was responsible for 15 points. Uh, Illinois' Brandon Peters, 16 for 36, 248 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Isaiah Williams and Luke Ford each had touchdown catches. Kicker James McCourt had 11 points. And Iowa had a bad passing game. Illinois had a bad rushing game. Uh, Iowa ended up with 255 total yards. Illinois, 312. Uh, Georgia State, 28. Arkansas State, 20. This was a one-point game at the half. Darren Granger, quarterback for Georgia State, was 10 for 21. 152 yards, no touchdowns, though. Um, Jamius Williams, 16 carries, 125 yards, two touchdowns. Tucker Gregg, 22 rushes for 98 yards and a touchdown. Uh, for Arkansas State, Lane Hatcher was 28 for 48, 273 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions, sacked six times. Mm. Uh, Lincoln Pair, six catches, 118 yards, one touchdown. Um, Kevon Bennett, 80-yard touchdown from a fumble recovery. There we go again. It's like a, that was like a trend last Saturday. Uh, Arkansas State had a horrible rushing game. They only had 46 rushing yards in that whole game. Uh, Notre Dame 55, Georgia Tech 0. This was 45 to nothing at the half. Uh, Jack Cohn for the Irish, 15 for 20, 285 yards, two touchdowns. Kyrene Williams, 11 rushes, 56 yards, two touchdowns. Michael Mayer, three catches for 86 yards and a touchdown off of the Irish. Uh, Jordan Yates for the Yellow Jackets, 14 for 28, 96 yards. Sack six times by that Irish defense. Uh, Georgia Tech, mm, that offense was not on that day. Their top rusher had 58 yards, and the top receiver had 29 yards. I mean, <laughs> Ooh, man. Uh, Notre Dame, 514 total yards. Georgia Tech, 224. I'm surprised they even mustered up 224 total yards. That's just not good. And they got Georgia this week. Mm. That annual rivalry game. Colorado 20, Washington 17. The woes keep going for Washington. Uh, Brandon Lewis for Colorado threw for 112 yards and no touchdowns, uh, but he did rush for a touchdown. Jack, here we go again. Jack Lamb for Colorado, 80 yard TD off a of fumble recovery. Uh, kicker Kale Becker, he was responsible for eight points. Uh, Dylan Morris was 33 for 52, 387 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions for Washington. Um, Rome Odvansi and Jalen Polk each had touchdown catches for Washington. And uh, this was a 10 10 game at the half, but Colorado pulled it out. Uh, call it, yeah, get this. Let's here we go. Colorado 183 total yards, and they won, where Washington racked up 426. Uh, Michigan 59, Maryland 18. K McNair for Michigan 21 for 28. 259 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Hassan Haskins, 78 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Devon Edwards, 10 catches, 170 yards, one touchdown. Uh, A.J. Henning had an 80-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. And D.J. Turner had a 30-yard pick six, all for the Wolverines. Uh, Maryland quarterback Tolua, 19 for 33, 178 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Uh, he rushed for 30 yards and a touchdown, though. And Carlos Carreri, four catches, 53 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, Wolverines, 503 total yards, and the Terps, 359 total yards. Uh, Pitt, 48. Virginia, 38. This was another close game early on. It was a three-point game at the half. Uh, Kenny Pickett for Pitt, 26 for 41, 340 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions, he was sacked three times. Uh, Jordan Addison, 14 catches, 202 yards, four touchdowns. Though. Israel Abankanda, 98-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Uh, that was another thing, too. A lot of people had kickoff returns for touchdowns this past Saturday. Uh, Virginia's Brendan Armstrong, 36 for 49, 487 yards, three touchdowns, one interception, sacked five times. 
Uh, Mike Hollins and Katun Thompson had rushing touchdowns for Virginia. And Keaton Thompson also had 126 rush receiving yards in the touchdown. Uh, Pitt, 509 total yards. Virginia, 514. Minnesota, 35. Indiana, 14. Uh, Minnesota's Tanner Morgan, 14 for 20, 196 yards, two touchdowns. Kai Thomas had 26 carries, 105 yards, and two touchdowns. And Chris Ottman bell four catches, 44 yards, two touchdown catches. Uh, Donovan McCulley for Indiana, rushed for 72 yards and a touchdown. And Mal 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 Malike Holt Bennett, you can say it better than I did, can probably, 29 receiving yards and a touchdown catch. Uh, Gophers, 391 total yards. Hoosiers, 218. Uh, Wisconsin, 35. Nebraska, 28. Nebraska loses another close one. Uh, I didn't see this game. I don't know if it was mistakes that did them in or they just had some bad luck. But anyway, another close one that got away. Uh, it's, well, it was actually 14-14 at the half. So somewhere in the second half, I guess Nebraska... Messed up or let off the gas. Uh, Graham Mertz for Wisconsin. 12 for 18. 145 yards on the touchdown. Uh, Brayson Allen, 22 rushes. 228 yards and three touchdowns. Uh, Steven Bracey, 91-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. There we go again. Uh, Nebraska, A.G. Martinez, 23 for 35. 351 yards, one touchdown, two interception. Rush for 23 yards and a touchdown. And they're going to be without him this week. Uh, Martin, Marvin Scott ran for a touchdown. And Samori Tour, seven catches, 113 yards and a touchdown. Wisconsin, 397 total yards. Nebraska, 452. Uh, this one I watched. This was pretty good. Alabama, 42. Arkansas, 35. Uh, Bryce Young was 31 for 40. 559 yards. Five touchdowns, sacked four times. Brian Robinson Jr. rushed for 122, but didn't have any touchdowns. Uh, Jamison Williams, 190 receiving yards and three touchdowns. Damn good day for him. Uh, John Mitchie the third, 10 catches, 173 yards and a touchdown for the Crimson Tide. Uh, Razorbacks, K.J. Jefferson was 22 for 30, 326 yards, three touchdowns. Not too bad. Sacked three times. Uh, Dominic Johnson had a rushing touchdown, and Travion Burks, eight catches, 179 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Alabama, 671 total yards, and Arkansas, 468 total yards. Uh, Cincinnati, 48, SMU, 14. I actually thought SMU would score more points than that, but I guess Cincinnati's on the mission now. Uh, Desmond Ritter for Cincinnati. 17 for 23, 274 yards, three touchdowns. Rush for 46 yards and a touchdown also. Uh, Jerome Ford, 20 rushes, 82 yards, one touchdown. Trey Tucker, 114 receiving yards. Alec Pierce had two touchdown catches for the Bearcats. Uh, SMU's Tanner Morduse, 15 for 26, 66 yards and a touchdown. Sacked three times by the Bearcats. Uh, Trey Siggers was 10 rushes, 64 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Rashi Rice, 7 catches, 21 yards and a touchdown. Bearcats had 544 total yards and Mustangs only 199. Uh, East Carolina, 38. Navy, 35. This was a three-point game, but the halftime, it was kind of close. And it ended three points. Uh, Holton Allers, East Carolina, 27 for 32. 405 yards, three touchdowns. Keaton Mitchell, 18 rushes, 94 yards and a touchdown. Trey Sneed had five catches for 137 yards and two touchdowns. And kicker Owen Daffer was responsible for 12 points for the Pirates. Uh, Navy's uh, Ty Lavate threw two touchdown passes to Mitchell Cooper and Chase Warren. Uh, Miguel Hayward, here we go again, 98-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. And uh, Carlos Ar Carlos AC had a 90-yard TD run from line of scrimmage. Uh, East Carolina, 563 total yards. And Navy, 382 total yards. Uh, Old Dominion, 24. Middle Tennessee, 17. 
Old Dominion's Hayden Wolf was 14 for 23, 237 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Blake Watson had 61 rushing yards and a touchdown. Elijah Davis had 49 rushing yards and a touchdown. And Zach Coots had 68 receiving yards and a touchdown. Uh, Middle Tennessee's Nicholas Vatito, Vatayo, looks like Italian, uh, 31 for 45, 281 yards, touchdown inter interception. Uh, Jalen Lane, 10 catches, 107 yards and a touchdown. Old Dominion, 341 total yards. And Middle Tennessee, 414 total yards. Uh, Appalachian State, 45, Troy, 7, probably uh, the... the uh, Cherry on top of the Sunday, and why their coach got fired. Uh, Chase Bryce for App State, 17 for 24, 212 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, Nate Noel, 15 rushes, 102 yards, and a touchdown. Thomas Hennigan had seven catches for 85 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Gunnar Watson for Troy threw a 37-yard TD pass to Deshaun Stoudemire in the first quarter. And that was it. That was it. That's all they did. Uh, App State, 445 total yards. And Troy, uh, looks like 142 total yards. My notes are a little messed up. Uh, UTSA keeps on winning, but they escaped by the hair of their chin. 34, UAB 31. Um, Frank Harris was for UTSA was 25 for 36. 380, 323 yards, two touchdowns. Sack five times. Sincere McCormick, 65 rushing yards and a touchdown. Uh, Zachary Franklin, six catches, 97 yards and two touchdowns. Not too bad for him. Uh, kicker Hunter Duplessis had 10 points for the Roadrunners. Uh, UAB's Dylan Hopkins, 15 for 29, 254 yards, two touchdowns, one interception, sacked three times. Dwayne McBride, 24 rushes, 144 yards and a touchdown. And Trey Sheffishire, three catches, 130 yards, two touchdowns for UAB. Uh, UTSA ends up with 375 total yards. UAB, 474 total yards. But uh, that game was neck and neck all the way to the end. Uh, Marshall, 49, Charlotte, 28. Marshall's Grant, or yeah, Marshall's Grant Wells, 21 for 28, 267 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Rasheen Ali, 23 carries, 203 yards, three touchdowns. And Sheldon Evans, 68 rushing yards, two touchdowns. Uh, kicker Corey Gamage, no, Corey Gamage had a 78 receiving yard. Receiving yards and a touchdown, I'm sorry. Uh, Charlotte's Chris Reynolds, 19 for 34, 176 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. Keith Parson, four catches, 56 yards and a touchdown. And Cameron Dollar, four catches, 50 yards, two touchdowns. Marshall ended up with 588 total yards. And Charlotte, 364 total yards. Uh, NC State, 41. Syracuse, 17. Devin Leary for NC State, 17 for 24. 303 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Ricky Pearson Jr. rushed for a touchdown. Thayer Thomas, Christopher Tolley, each had touchdown catches. Uh, Drake Thomas, 38-yard pick six. And Zonovan Knight, here we go again, 97-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Uh, let's see, Garrett Schrader for Syracuse, 60, <laughs> is that right? 63 passing yards, zero touchdowns. Sacked five times. Uh, but he did rush for 70 in a touchdown. So Sean Tucker, 13 carries, 105 yards in a touchdown. NC State ended up with 399 total yards. Syracuse, 236. Uh, just, this is probably the Sunday, or the cherry on top of the Sunday for this one, for Dan Mullen. Missouri, 24. Florida, 23. Mm. Tigers won in overtime. Uh, Connor Baz, Bazlack from Missouri, 15 for 26. 165 yards, one touchdown. He was sacked five times. Uh, Taylor Bodie, 27 rushes, 146 yards and a touchdown. Nico Haya, three catches, 68 yards and a touchdown. Uh, kicker Harrison Movis had 10 points for the Tigers. Uh, Emory Jones for the Gators, 20 for 32, 261 yards, no touchdowns. Uh, but he caught a touchdown pass from Trent Whittemore. Good for him. Uh, Damian Pierce rushed for a touchdown, and kicker Chris Howard had 11 points. 
Okay, UCLA 62, USC 33. Uh, this crosstown rivalry was once I always anticipated watched the game, but I don't know. Uh, Dorian Thompson Robinson for the Bruins, 16 for 22, 349 yards, four touchdowns. He also ran for 46 yards and two touchdowns, so he had a hell of a game there. Uh, Casimir Allen, 115 receiving yards and two touchdowns. Kyle Phillips, 80 receiving yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Casimir Allen also had a 100-yard kickoff return for a touchdown, of course. Um, look at that. Look at these numbers for UCLA. It looks like the USC defense sucks, but maybe UCLA is just that good. Uh, Jackson Dart for USC, 27 for 47, 325 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions, sat three times. Uh, Veve Malapia, 49 rushing yards, three touchdowns. Not too bad. Uh, Gary Bryant Jr., nine catches, 161 yards, and a touchdown. UCLA, 609 total yards. Good God. Uh, USC, 484 total yards. Not too bad for them. Um, TCU, 31. Kansas, 28. Max Dugan was 10 for 16, 166 yards, zero touchdowns, one interception, sacked three times. But he did have 74 rushing yards in the T in a TD for TCU. Kendra Miller, 12 rushes, 112 yards, touchdown. Um Emery Dermacardo and Dervis Davis each had touchdown runs for the Horned Frogs. Uh, kicker Griffin Kell had seven points for TCU. Uh, Kansas' Jalen Daniels, 22 for 30, 255 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. He also ran for 37 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Devin Neal, 59 rushing yards and a touchdown. Luke Grimm and Jared Casey each had touchdown catches for the Jayhawks. Uh, Kwani Lassiter, the second. Eight catches for 101 yards, but he didn't have a touchdown. Uh, TCU, 492 total yards. Kansas, 379 total yards. Uh, UTEP, 38. Rice, 28. Gavin Hardison for UTEP was 23 for 35. 366 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. Uh, Ronald Awat, 119 rushing yards. Uh, Calvin Brownfields, two rushing touchdowns. Jacob Lowing, 11 catches, 178 yards, two and one touchdown. And Justin Garrett, 82 receiving yards and a touchdown for UTEP. Uh, Rice's Jake Constant Constantine, 14 for 25, 183 yards, two touchdowns, not too bad. Uh, Lou McCaffrey and Ari Broussard each had rushing TDs for Rice. Cedric Peterson the third and Jack Bradley had TD catches for the Owls. Uh, UTEP, 488 total yards and Rice, 390. Tulsa, 44, Temple, 10. Davis Brin, 18 for 30, 297 yards, two touchdowns. He also ran for a touchdown. Uh, the nearest Price and Steven Anderson had rushing touchdowns for Tulsa. Josh Johnson had nine catches for 159 yards and a touchdown. And kicker Zach Long was responsible for 14 points for Tulsa. Um, Temple's Justin Lynch, 22 for 37, 162 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Ahmed Anderson Jr., 33 receiving yards and a touchdown. Tulsa ended up with 513 total yards. Temple, 293. Uh, BYU, 34. Get this. Uh, BYU beat Georgia Southern, 34-17. But this was a three-point game at the half. I don't know if BYU took them lightly or was uninspired or what, but they ended up winning, but still. Uh, Jaron Hall for BYU, 17 for 29, 312 yards, two touchdowns. Tyler Algar, 25 rushes, 136 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Puganakova, five catches, 83 yards, two touchdowns. And kicker Jake Okloy, 10 points for BYU. Uh, Connor Sigleski for Georgia Southern, 11 for 14, 122 yards, zero touchdowns. Uh, Logan Wright, 14 rushes, 50 yards, and two touchdowns. He kind of saved the day for him there. Uh, BYU, 507 total yards, Georgia Southern, 268. Uh, UCF, Central Florida, 49, UConn, 17. Mikey Keene for UCF, 23 for 29, 208 yards, two touchdowns. 
He also ran for 33 yards on a touchdown. Uh, Johnny Richardson, 14 carries, 147 yards on a touchdown. Brandon Johnson, seven catches, 125 yards on a touchdown. Uh, for UConn, Steven Krajewski, 18 for 42, 174 yards, zero touchdowns, three interceptions, sacked five times. But hey, he did run for a touchdown. Uh, Nathan Carter, 13 rushes, 77 yards on a touchdown. And Jay Rose, he had 89 receiving yards, but no touchdowns. Uh, Central Florida, 537 total yards. UConn, 311. Louisiana, Louisiana, 42. Liberty, 14. Uh, Levi Lewis, Raging Cajuns, 14 for 25, 166 yards, three touchdowns. But they did get to him three times. He was sacked three times. Uh, Imani Bailey, 13 rushes, 60 yards and a touchdown. Uh, John Stevens Jr., Kyrene Lacey, Neil Johnson all had TD catches for the Raging Cajuns. Uh, Liberty's Malik Willis, 14 for 34, 162 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, sacked seven times. Hmm. Uh, Kevin Shea had three catches, 72 yards, and two touchdowns for Liberty. Louisiana had 296 total yards and Liberty 293. Uh, Baylor 20, Kansas State 10. Jerry Bohannon from Baylor threw a touchdown pass to Drake, Drake De Debris. And uh, Tristan Ebner, 12 rushes, 68 yards, and a touchdown. Probably not one of Baylor's better offensive performances, but it was enough to win. Uh, Skyler Thompson for K-State, 15 for 29, 158 yards, zero touchdowns, sacked three times. And Deuce Vaughn, 11 carries, 128 yards, and a touchdown for Kansas State. Uh, Bears, 387 total yards. Uh, Wildcats, 263. Uh, Battle of the Axe, California, 41. Stanford, 11. I still don't know what the hell's happened to Stanford in the last couple of years. There's a time when people were picking them to win the Pac-12 and go to the national championship game just a few years ago. Crazy. Uh, Cal, Chase Garber, 17 for 26, 246. Two touchdowns, one interception. Um... Marseille dancing, four rushes, 92 yards, two touchdowns. Trayson Clark, three catches, 135 yards and a touchdown. And kicker Dorio Longhetto, 11 points for Cal. Uh, Stanford's Tanner McKee was 26 for 44, 239 yards, zero touchdowns, two interceptions, sacked twice. And uh, Austin Jones had 10 carries for 28 yards and a touchdown. Cal, 636 total yards to Stanford's 282. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with David Shaw here. Um, if, if they don't let go of him this year, is he on the hot seat next year? Probably so. Uh, well, it's a shame, too, because like, uh, like y'all have all seen, he's had Stanford up there in the high in the rankings for a few years, and a lot of people were picking him for a good national championship game a couple years, so... It's going to be interesting to see what happens with this whole Stanford situation. Uh, this was a pretty good game. I'll watch this one. South Carolina 21, Auburn 17. Uh, this was 14-14 at the half, and then South Carolina said, enough of this, let's win. Um, Jason Brown for South Carolina, 10 for 15, 157 yards, three touchdowns, one interception, sacked four times. Uh, Zaquandre White, 99 rushes, rushing yards. Uh, 69 receiving yards and a touchdown. He was busy. Josh Van and Trey Jones had receiving touchdowns for Carolina. Uh, Auburn's TJ Finley, because Bo Nix was out. 17 for 32, 188 yards, one touchdown. Not too bad numbers for him, really. Uh, Tank Bigsby, 22 rushes, 164 yards and a touchdown. And Demetrius Robinson had a touchdown catch for Auburn. South Carolina, 306 total yards. Auburn, 379. And I believe with that, South Carolina's bowl eligible in Shane Beamer's first year, so good for them. Uh, North Texas 49, Florida International 7. And uh, we mentioned before, Florida Nationals in all kinds of turmoil. Uh, Coach Butch Jones saying all kinds of crazy stuff and how the university doesn't care about the program, trying to sabotage it. And <laughs> I bet it's a mess in that locker room. Um Austin on for North Texas, 6 for 12, 219 yards, two touchdowns. 
Uh, DeAndre Torrey, 18 rushes, 109 yards and two touchdowns. Roger Burns, three catches, 105 yards and a touchdown. And for Florida International, Max Bortenschlager had a 60-yard TD pass to Tyre Rose Chambers. And that was to assure that they would not be shut out. So that was the only thing they scored. North Texas, 611 total yards. FIU, 245. Must have up that. Uh, Miami, 38. Vault Tech, 26. Miami seems to be getting better each week, kind of like Ohio State. Um, Tyler Van Dyke for Miami, 19 for 33. 357 yards, three touchdowns. Uh, Jalen Knighton, two rushing touchdowns. Brashard Smith, 90 receiving yards and a touchdown. And Mike Harley, 65 receiving yards and a touchdown. Uh, from Fontech, Tech, Braxton Burmeister, 14 for 17, 109 yards, one touchdown. Connor Blumbrick ran for 132. And he also threw two TD, TD passes. A little trickeration going on there. Beamer ball. Uh, Trey Turner, Dewan Lefton, Caleb Smith all had touchdown catches for Vautech. Uh, Miami, 411 total yards. Vautech, 375. Tennessee, 60. South Alabama, 14. Balls Hinden Hooker, 17 for 20. 273 yards, two touchdowns. He also ran for a touchdown also. Uh, Javon Small, 73 rushing yards, two touchdowns. Cedric Tillman, 100 receiving yards on the touchdown. Uh, Velas Jones Jr., six catches, 103 yards. And once again, here we go. He also had a 96-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Uh, South Alabama's Desmond Trotter, 19 for 32, 216 yards, two touchdowns, sacked four times. Uh, Jalen Tolbert, seven catches, 143 yards on a touchdown. Lincoln Sefcik had a touchdown catch also. Tennessee, 561 total yards. South Alabama, 285. Uh, Ole Miss, 31. Vandy, 17. Matt Crowell is 27 for 36. 326 yards. Two touchdowns, one interception. Uh, Jerron Ailey had 55 rushing yards and a touchdown. Dontario Dremen, 79 receiving yards and a touchdown. Vandy's Mike Wright was 22 for 44. 241 yards, zero touchdowns, one interception. Uh, Rocco Griffin, 26 rushes, 117 yards and a touchdown. And kicker Joseph Bolovas, nine points for Vanderbilt. Uh, Ole Miss, 470 total yards, and Vandy, 454. They're right up there with them. Uh, Utah, 38. Oregon, 7. <laughs> just, I had a feeling Utah was going to win this game. Uh, I didn't think it would be like this, though. I mean, by 31 points. It's crazy. Isn't it? And somebody brought up a good point. How does Oregon travel across the country and play a game at you know 9 a.m. Oregon time and beat Ohio State, one of the best teams in the country? And then they've kind of just fallen flat. Weird. Uh, Cameron Rising for Oregon. 10 for 18, 178 yards. No passing touchdowns, but he did rush for a touchdown. Uh, Tavion Thomas, 21 carries, 94 yards, and and three touchdowns. Not too bad. Um, Britton Covey, 78-yard. There we go. 78-yard punt return for a TD. Anthony Brown for uh, Oregon, 17 for 25, 231 yards. Touchdown, sacked three times. Uh, Davian Williams had 81 receiving yards and the touchdown. And that came in the third quarter. Hmm. Utah, 386 total yards. Oregon, 294 total yards. Uh, Wyoming, 44. Utah State, 17. Levi Williams for the Cowboys, 12-15, 242 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Uh, Titus Sween, 15 carries, 169 yards, two touchdowns. Not too bad for him. Isaiah Never, four catches, 125 yards on a touchdown. And yep, there we go again. Cameron Stone, 99-yard TD from a kickoff return. Uh, kicker John Harlan had 14 points for the Cowboys. Uh, for Utah State, Logan Bonner, 19 for 40, 181 yards, two touchdowns. Calvin Tyler Jr., 18 rushes, 109 yards. And Devin Tom, uh, Tompkins, five catches, 67 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Brandon Bowling had six catches for 60 yards and a touchdown for Utah State. 
Wyoming, 604 total yards. Utah State, 362. Uh, a lot of the Wyoming fans are saying, where the hell's this team been all year? So, <laughs> Oh, man. Got to love college football. Uh, OK, State, 23. Texas Tech, 0. Cowboys, Spencer Sanders, 1938. 239 yards, touchdown. He also ran for 48 yards on a touchdown. Uh, Tay Martin had 130 receiving yards. John Paul Richards had 41 receiving yards on a touchdown. And kicker Tanner Brown had 11 points. Texas Tech, horrible offense production. They couldn't really get anything. Donovan Smith had 83 passing yards. Their top rusher had 15 yards. Top receiver had 39 yards. This is all at home, too. They played in Lubbock. Uh, okay, State, 427 total yards. Texas Tech, 108. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, LSU, 27. La Monroe, 14. Max, Max Johnson actually played. I figure LSU is going to come up with one of their dumbass game plans like last weekend and play the third-string quarterback or something, but they, they got smart. Uh, Max Johnson, 22 for 33, 319 yards, two touchdowns, sacked three times, and he rushed for a touchdown. Uh, Malik, Malik Neighbors, Neighbors, four catches, 143 yards and a touchdown. Brian Thompson, J Thomas Jr., four catches, 61 yards and a touchdown. And kicker Cade York had nine points for the Tigers. Uh, for Louisiana Monroe, Rhett Rodriguez was 12 for 22, 157 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Backup quarterback Chandler Rogers came in and threw a touchdown pass. Boogie Knight, I like this guy's name. Boogie Knight, 57 receiving yards, two touchdown or one touchdown. And Zach um, Rasmussen had a TD catch for La Monroe. So we got Boogie Knight, the La Monroe. We got Sincere McCormick at UTSA. We got some cool names this year. Uh, let's see, Boise State 37, New Mexico 0. Uh, Hank Bachmeyer for Boise, 11 for 22, 146 yards, touchdown and an interception. Uh, George Holani, 14 carries for 114 yards. Uh, Khalil Shakir, 7 catches, 116 yards and a touchdown. And kicker Jonah Doms had 13 points for the Broncos. Uh, New Mexico, bad offense. Connor Gino, 16 passing yards. Their top rusher had 36 yards, and their top receiver had 16 yards, giving them a grand total of 101 total yards. And Boise State had 427. Okay, Oregon State 24, Arizona's 10. Uh, that was a pretty good game. I stayed up and watched that one. Uh, Pac-10 has some good late night games. Chance Nolan for Oregon State, 12 for 18, 90 yards. Touchdown, ran for a touchdown. B.J. Baylor, 20 yards. 20 rushes, I'm sorry, 150 yards. Jack Collada had a rushing TV, TD. Treshawn Harrison had a receiving TD for the Beavers. Uh, Arizona State, Jane Daniels, 16 for 27. 166 yards, zero touchdowns, one interception, sacked three times. Uh, DeMonte Trainum, he had a rushing touchdown for Arizona State. And Rashad White led with 86 receiving yards. Uh, Oregon State, 327 total yards. Uh, Arizona State, 266. A uh, lot of talk about Herm Edwards might get fired after this year. Uh, that's another one I'm not really understanding. I mean, he's done job. He's done a good job. He's slowly getting him up there. Um, but then again, we know how it works in college football. People want you to win the national championship in your first or second year. If you don't, then you need, you need to hit the door, which is, I think it's stupid now, but it's the way the world is. I mean, not just football, everything. Uh, Hawaii 50, Colorado State 45. Uh, Hawaii's Javon Cordoso, Cordoso, 23 for 41, 406 yards. Two touchdowns, zero interceptions, sacked three times, but he also rushed for a touchdown too. Hawaii's had some good quarterbacks over the years. Timmy Chang and uh, Cole Brennan. And there's another one. I forget what his name was, but they had some pretty good ones. Um, DJ Parsons, 78 rushing yards and two touchdowns for the for Hawaii. Zeon Bowers had six catches, 172 yards and a touchdown. Um, 97 receiving yards and a TD 
for Nick Mardner for Hawaii. Uh, Colorado State's Todd Santillo, 29 for 48. 527 yards and five touchdowns. Woo! Two interceptions. He was sacked five times by the Warrior defense. Uh, Dante Wright, eight catches, 150 yards and a TD. Cam Butler, 93 receiving yards, two touchdowns. Gary Williams, 92 receiving yards and two touchdowns for Colorado State. Uh, they outgained Hawaii, too. Colorado State had 651 total yards, and Hawaii had 535. All right, so some uh, basketball. Last Thursday, Kansas beat Stony Brook 88-59. St. Bonaventure 67, Boise State 61. Xavier 71, Ohio State 65. Uh, Florida, built, Florida beat Milwaukee 81-45. Uh, Friday, Gonzaga, 92, Bellarmine, 50, Memphis, 74, Western Kentucky, 62. They may need, Western Kentucky might need Billy Zepp out there on the floor. Uh, Alabama, 86, Oakland, 59, Auburn, 58, South Florida, 52, Michigan, 74, UNLV, 61, Duke, 88, Lafayette, 55, Kentucky, 77, Ohio, 59, Maryland, 69, Hofstra, 67, St. Bonaventure, 68. Clemson, 65. Uh, Saturday, Villanova, 71. Tennessee, 53. Texas, 79. San Jose State, 45. UConn, 87. Uh, Binghampton, 63. Purdue, 93. North Carolina, 84. Baylor, 86. Stanford, 48. And uh, yesterday, Sunday, Purdue, 80. Villanova, 74. St. Bonaventure, 70. Marquette, 54. St. Bonaventure's been playing a lot of games. Uh, Tennessee, 89. North Carolina, 72. And Arizona, 80. Michigan, 62. There's been a lot of talk about that because Juwan Howard signed some big contract and he lost to some smaller school. Now he's lost again to Arizona. So. Uh, games being played today. One of them that's over. Houston, 70. Butler, 52. Okay. I'm not going to do a preview this week because Thanksgiving week. I'm going to be going out of town. Uh, you guys know the big games here, but here's some some here to just keep an eye on. If you if you don't watch them just, you know, or you can't because you're with family, just uh, get the phone out and just keep an eye on the score. Uh, Thursday, Egg Bowl, Ole Miss 9-2, Mississippi State 7-4. Uh, rivalry game, in-state rivalry. This game is usually pretty good, and you never know when Mississippi State is going to jump up and – and kind of a uh, bite Ole Miss there, especially they're playing at home there in Starkville. So uh, Friday, another one: Boise State seven to four at San Diego State ten and one. Uh, Boise State plays pretty good. They've really come on these last few weeks. They might give San Diego State their second loss of the season. Uh, Saturday, we know Ohio State ten and one at Michigan ten and one. That one just because it's Ohio State Michigan, but also what's going to happen in the playoff rankings to the loser of this game. Uh, another one here is kind of interesting here. Penn State 7-4 and four at Michigan State 9-2. and two. Is Michigan State going to have a hangover from uh, getting their ass whooped by Ohio State? And does Penn State want to have one last big win before the end of the season? This could be a game worth watching too. Uh, here's another one. Oregon State 7-4 and four at Oregon 9-2. and two. Civil War, always a good game. Oregon's proven twice now that they can lose. And Oregon State's... Is uh proved they can play some pretty good football. Uh, this one here, I put it on here because it's a classic rivalry, Iron Bowl. Uh, Alabama ten and one, Auburn six and five. You never know rivalry games. I mean, something to keep an eye on. Uh, this one might be pretty good. Wisconsin eight and three at Minnesota seven and four. Both looking to end their seasons well. They'll play hard. Uh, this one, Oklahoma ten and one at Oklahoma State ten and one. Uh, I believe they said Oklahoma State's already clinched their spot in the Big 12 championship game. And if they beat Oklahoma, then I think they said Baylor is going to be in there to play Oklahoma State. Um, I think that's what they said. Uh, there's another one. This one, this one's kind of interesting here. Clemson 8-3 and three at South Carolina, 6-5. and five. Uh, South Carolina's played some good football, and they're playing at home. Clemson's not Clemson. I mean, they are eight and three, but you know they're not twelve and zero going into this, or eleven and zero going into this week. So that might be one to keep an eye on. 
Uh, another good rivalry, Kentucky 8-3, and three, and Louisville 6-5. and five. Those two battle the Commonwealth State, I think they call it. Uh, here's another one to keep an eye on. Cincinnati 11-0 and East Carolina 7-4. East Carolina's playing some good football. They would love to spoil Cincy's uh, playoff hopes and does Cincy take them lightly? Because we've seen Cincinnati, they've almost, they've come close to not, maybe not losing, but they've had teams play them really close this year. So, And then another one here, a couple 7-4 teams, UTEP and UAB. That might be a pretty good one to check out and watch. You never know. Hey, hey, that's it. Um, man, y'all have a great Thanksgiving. Um, for those of you that are off this week, you lucky bastards. I still got two more days like a lot of us do. But uh, enjoy Thanksgiving, man. Enjoy time with your family. Be thankful for this. Um, enjoy the football coming up. You will have a great weekend. Like I said, because Thanksgiving week, no preview uh, for this weekend. That's why we just did this little quick one here. We'll be back next week to review the last full weekend of college football. Uh, when Sunday, when we wake up Sunday morning, it's going to suck. Because first of all, the long weekend's over. And second, because that was the last college full college football Saturday of the season. Uh, we do have championship next weekend, but it's just not the same. I mean, yeah, you got some good games, but there's nothing like sitting around on a Saturday afternoon in fall, flipping between 25 channels, check out games. You know, the first weekend of the year, championship weekend, you could probably do that without, what, five or six channels. So it's bittersweet. But anyway, like I said, y'all have a great holiday. Have a great weekend. Be careful. We'll see you back next week.